All right, so you're given p of x equals 4 minus 3x plus 5x squared minus 9x cubed plus 100x to the fourth. All right, so we want to know what p of x naught is. We're given all these x naughts to look at. They're great. And we want to know the partials for the first partial and the second partial. So p1 of x and p1 of x naught and p2 of x and p2 of x naught. And then we want to find the error of each of those things. So I guess first we should do is find our partials. Our first partial is just 4 minus 3x. Okay. And then our second partial, 4 minus 3x plus 5x squared. Okay. Good. So now we also want to calculate what p of x naught is for each of those things. So I'm actually going to do these one at a time. So p of x naught when it's 0. So p of 0 equals 4 minus 3 times 0 plus 5 times 0 squared minus 9 times 0 cubed plus 100 times 0 to the fourth, which means that it's only 4. All right, now our first partial is 4 minus 3 times 0. And that's just 4. What a shock. And then our second partial at 0, that was weird, is 4 minus 3 times 0 plus 5 times 0 squared. Again, just 4. Okay. Now, I'm going to calculate the error. I'm going to do both of the errors. So, that's equal to p of x, the absolute value of p of x, minus, since we're doing the first partial error, the first partial. Okay. So, this whole mess of an equation minus this part just leaves you with 1, 2, 3. So that's equal to 5x squared minus 9x cubed minus 100x to the fourth. Okay. So, in case you couldn't figure this out, the error for one x is 0, x naught, is 5 times 0 minus 9 times 0 minus 100 times 0. So it's the absolute value of 0, which is just 0. Wow, very difficult. Then we have our second one. I'm sure this one is also going to be very challenging. And again, our second is just this whole monster minus this part. So we're just left with minus 9x cubed minus plus 100, that is a plus, plus 100x to the fourth. Okay, so when looking at our partial for when it's zero, our second partial, again, absolute value of zero, zero. All right, we're one fourth done with this problem. It's exciting. I'm going to write in a different color to show you that we're doing a different x naught. Do that. I like that. Okay, moving over here. So we still need to know that our first partial is 4 minus 3x, and our second is 4 minus 3x plus 5x squared. Now we're looking. First, we need to calculate what of an x naught is. So that's 4 minus 3 times 0.1 plus 5 
times 0 0.1 squared minus 9 times 0 0.1 cubed plus 100 times 0 0.1 to the fourth. And now, at this point, you can use your calculator to do all the rest of the equations for the rest of this problem. But I happen to write them all down on my notepad. So this RP of that is 3.751. OK. So now we want to know our first partial with x naught. Okay. And that's equal to 4 minus 3 times 0 0.1 which is just 3.7, okay? And our second partial, 4 minus 3 times 0 0.1 plus 5 times 0 0.1 squared, 3.75, okay? So the error, oops, our error for our first partial Remember, is just it's that whole equation and minus four minus three x. So we're left with minus five times zero point one oh plus five. So I'm just gonna get rid of that plus. Five times zero point one squared minus nine times zero point one cubed plus one hundred times 0 0.1 to the fourth. That comes out to, ah, there it is. That comes out to the opposite value of 0 0.051 or just 0 0.051. Okay. And then error for a second partial. Just negative 9 times 0 0.1 cubed plus 100 times 0 0.1 to the fourth. So that's equal to 0 0.001. Yes. So that's just 0, 0, 1. Excellent. We're not halfway done with this problem. I'm going to erase this. Uh, yeah, I don't need this. Uh, you can just write the air. Okay. So since we already did blue, let's do green. So P is X naught equal to 3.970492. That comes from, I should probably write that all out before I just give you that random number. It's equal to 4 minus 3 times 0 0.01 plus 5 times 0 0.01 squared minus 9 times 0.01 plus 100 times 0 0.01 to the fourth. Again, that is 3.970492. Okay. So, first partial. Is equal to 
4 minus 3, 0 0.01, so 3.97. Okay, and our second partial at x0 is equal to 3, oh, sorry, 4 minus 3 times 0 0.01 plus 5 times 0 0.01 squared. So that's 3.9705. Okay. So now our error of our first partial is all of this. So we have 5, 0 0.01 squared minus 9 times 0 0.01 cubed plus 100 times 0 0.01 to the fourth. Close that absolute value. That comes out to 0 0.000492. Second, our error for our second partial oops, is negative 9 times 0 0.01 cubed plus 100 times 0 0.01 to the fourth, which is equal to negative, the absolute value of negative point. Zero 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 eight. Since it's absolute value, it's just point zero 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 eight. Okay, almost done. And one more color. I choose purple. purple, I need to erase our blue x knot. La, la, la. Okay. So remember the first thing is we need to know what p of x naught is. That's 4 minus 3 times negative point zero zero one plus five times negative zero point zero zero one squared minus nine times zero negative zero point zero zero one cubed plus one hundred times negative zero point zero zero one to the fourth that monster of a number is 4.003005009. Okay. So our first partial is just 4 minus 3. 0.001 and that's 4.003. Now notice that it's 4 point something as opposed to 3 point something and that's because these negatives become positive. So and then our second partial at x naught 4 minus 3 times negative 0 0.001 plus 5 times negative 0 0.001 squared. So that is 4.003005. Okay. So now we want to do the errors. So our 
more air for our first partial is equal to the absolute value of 5 times negative 0 0.001 squared minus 9 times negative 0 0.001 cubed plus 100 times negative 0.001 the fourth and this comes out as positive but I'll write in the absolute value anyway point zero 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 five zero zero nine one again it's positive so zero point zero 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 five zero zero nine one okay and then our second error that we're calculating is negative 9 times negative 0 0.001 cubed plus 100 times negative 0 0.001 to the fourth, which comes out to 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 9 1. Because we took the absolute value of a positive number, same of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros, and then 9, 1.